twitch.tv. We're here. <gasps> Okay, that was the intro. <laughs> that was definitely the intro. Oh, my God. And guess what? Rockin we are back. We are finally back we, we, after we are, a month in absentia. We are back, and this podcast is going to be a shanty podcast. Oh, this is going to be a, this is a, a shanty podcast. This is going to be a shit show podcast is what this is <laughs> going to be. A shit shanty podcast. Folks, it's not very often that we come into a podcast oh. pretty much 100% blind, but we're pretty much coming into this 100% <laughs> blind. And oh my God, there's a third one. May. Oh dear Lord, he's back. I'm always yeah. coming in blind. The person that killed the podcast the last time. <laughs> I'm here to revive it. Is back to either revive it or finish us the fuck <laughs> off. I could go either way. <laughs> Thanks, you, Nick. You really have no <laughs> choice in the so matter. Much. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Tyler is back, everybody. Yay! Yay! Round of Yay. applause. Woo! Thanks for starting that, by the way. Totally. Justin. I was going to do it, but I'm glad you did. Just like, man, this seems a little self-centered if I start an applause meter for myself. Yay. Yay. All right, folks. Again, it is the No Holds Barred uh, podcast. I was going to say productions, but No Holds Barred podcast, episode number 33. And this is going to be a mixed bag. This is just going to be a little bit of everything for your minds, up in your mouth, and everything that you love. So we're going to start this bitch... Where we didn't start with other ones, but we're going to start with this one anyway, because we need a little bit of... We've already been yelling at each other for like the last <laughs> hour, so I'm sure our throats are all kind of a little bit scratchy. No so, one is used to it. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Nick can go all night. Nick's, Nick's throat is used to a lot of things. <laughs> So they even come in different colors. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to start this thing off with the No Holds Barred Taste Test. And this is actually a No Holds Barred Taste Test throwback. It is a throwback. We're taking a second look, if you can believe that. A second look at a beer that we have already thoroughly shit on one time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Rickard's Shandy. Shanty. Crisp lager with lemonade. Exactly. Says it's 4.5%, so basically, would that qualify it as a light beer, 4.5%? I, I think it would as well. It's a seasonal collection, so you can't get this year-round. Right, exactly. It's La, la Collection Saisonnelle Records. Throwing it way back. I hate beer, so this is going to be good. Rickard Shanty, exactly. this time-honored beverage of Rickard's Premium Lager with classic lemonade, best served great with weather, and even better friends. Best served great with weather. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you're outside with the weather and the rain, just mix it with the rain. It will take it all much better Thanks with the lemonade. Say. The rain, the rain water will probably make it sound a little bit better. Great sound, weather. taste a little bit. Better. Oh, look, even better friends. Beer, ingredients, <laughs> beer. There's beer in this beer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm done. Oh, Screwed. Jesus, man, we are fucked on this one. All right, folks. So this is again a a second look, taste test, throwback, whatever you want to call it. Rickards Shandy. I'm a huge fan of the Rickards brand, but the last time we looked at this, we did not yeah. like it. Yeah. It wasn't. No. It was not a plus, but you know what? It was the only thing that we had kicking around. So we're just going to take a second look at it. And Tyler's never been in on a taste test, and as he said, he doesn't like beer. So I'm, a, I'm not a manly man. No, but he is famously attributed with chugging Fireball back in the day. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no, wow, I never did it. Nick. No, exactly. It was before just, your time. Exactly. He did it. He did it. How Open did you mind. take the cap off already? Oh man! Oh, Part of tradition. The cap off I don't in the do mind. this. I do yeah, it my you own have way. Do we? <laughs> You're not getting to drink it yet. Jesus! All right, all right. Pity, friggin' <laughs> crap. Exactly. Slipping out. Okay, Nick, calm down. 
<laughs> Nick's, Nick's fucking high off of firefighting duties all day. <laughs> and uh, Nick, so Nick doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. But all right, so. Nick is here, and then he's over here, and then he's over there. Exactly. And while Nick's flying around, I'm going to take the cap <laughs> off my beer. That took a while. In any case, there we go. There's, there's That was a good one. That registered real well. All right. Okay. So. Um... Okay, what cheers do I gotta do, Nick? boys? You gotta since first. you've got your, you got cheers your. Cheers sh- first. Okay, first we have smell. Smells more like lemonade than I remember. Smells more like lemonade. This has been sitting in your spare room for about a year. So it's <laughs> it's had time to ferment. It's true. It's and true. I mean, most of the shit is probably laying on the bottom of it. Now. I think I think I see mold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Sweet fucking a. But yeah, no, it it it's got a stronger lemon scent than it, I remember. It does it smell like really stronger. So that's to me, that's better. Yeah, I prefer that. Okay. I'm gonna just throw that out there. I prefer that shit. Okay. So are we ready? Okay. First swig, you remember, doesn't mean anything. Exactly. It's your to first get it in swig your mouth is just to get your mouth like used to the taste. This is so complicated. It is. <laughs> Let me drink my beer. Okay. <laughs> first sip. It doesn't mean anything. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Give it a second. Second. Let it shuffle around your palate. Yep. And second sip, people. Is it just me, or is that better than it was last time? I taste no, like, lemonade. Really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, That is a little bit better, but it has a, um, it has a, do you know how, um, Window washer, like wind, like windshield, like wiper yeah, fluid? like Windex smells. Yes, that's how it tastes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, I've never, I've never tasted Windex. No, but I how, do all how the time. You smell it. You okay, know how, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can smell stuff and mm-hmm. you can taste stuff, and it kind of tastes how it smells. It's true. Fair enough. Well, that's how it does. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can buy that. I don't know if it's because it's been sitting for a long time. You or, know what? I, I wouldn't be surprised. But like, it's the just, fact that it was sitting for a long time seems to have brought more lemon out in it. It's true. If really? that makes any sense whatsoever. Because the last time we drank this, I think one of my main criticisms was that it didn't taste enough like lemon. Yeah. It was just like, I'm drinking this and this just tastes like beer. Like if That's I all I taste. All you, and all you, I just is taste that all beer. you taste is the beer? Hmm. Like I don't, I don't think it tastes any better or worse well, than any of the beer, beer I've it, had. So well, it does, yeah, did I just drink enough. beer? You I did. Think so you tasted beer. I thought I was drinking fruit punch, lemon, water, punch. lemon extract, cane sugar, carbonated lemon juice. What? Oh yes. Oh. Oh. No. Extra de citron. Yeah. <laughs> Sucre de can. I speak French. Fuck you and your French. Fuck you. <laughs> You want to fight? You guys, you guys love each other. Stop arguing. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be the 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 stereotypical fat referee. Not gonna okay, lie, guys, I got fight. some love for Nick. Um, in the pants, um, everywhere. Sweet. <laughs> um, you know what? I yeah, I'm I'm more than willing to bump that up higher than it was before because, like I say, one of my big criticisms was that it didn't taste enough like lemons. Rickard Shandy, buy it. Store it for, <laughs> for a, a year, year. Let it go bad. And then it's passable. <laughs> exactly. So if you if you really want Shandy next year, buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> buy it now and just throw it in a back bedroom, leave it for a year, and then try it again. Because once you try it again, <laughs> then it's going to be like, this is what I expected from a lemonade beer. Yeah. All right? Great well, on. We just made Tyler Seelig drink beer. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. 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 No, you guys, back on the path to alcoholism. Woo! I was never off. That's what we did. <laughs> yeah. Nick's, Nick's, well, I know, Nick, I didn't want to say it, but I <laughs> this is the, Nick, this, Nick, this podcast is actually an intervention. <laughs> what? Wait, what? The sad yeah. thing is I feel like we made the joke last podcast. Probably. Well, Yo, Nick, sure you got a did. problem <laughs> that we need to address. The thing that we love to do is repeat ourselves. <laughs> So, um, you might be wondering where the fuck we've been <laughs> for the last month. Because the only piece of content on the channel since the last time we had Tyler on the podcast, the only piece of content on the channel has been that two-part uh, Cards Against Humanity 
playthrough, which was uh, actually seemed to get some views, which is nice. Like the first part got like 25. Well, that's nice. Yeah, so it's actually kind of good, I guess, because people like Cards Against Humanity. Certainly not because they liked us. Um, although one person really liked Sarah. Yeah. One person was like, I came for the witty banter, but I stayed for Sarah. Damn, she's hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I oh, agree. commenters on the internet. Fantastic. Yeah, Sarah's, Sarah's, Sarah's a cutie. I like her. Um, yeah, me too. Exactly. We all like I never Sarah. met her. We're just going to make Sarah feel <laughs> super awkward right now. We all just like watch Sarah. watch the Curse Against Humanity video. Exactly. I watch you guys' shit. I mean, what? I watch every you watch episode everything. of everything yeah. twice. Yeah. yeah. 17 <laughs> times. You're all of our views except our original two. Let's talk a little bit about w- exactly where we've been and what we've been doing. I'm going I'm to let Nick kick it off because I feel like he's been doing a lot more than I have. <laughs> Definitely more than I have. Me, like always, uh, uh, like I've been saying, I've been doing the treasure shit down at the fire hall. Right. And I've told you this many, 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 many times. And I, 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 I don't know if you're sick of me talking about it, but it's almost up to date. And I'm really, <laughs> really happy. <laughs> We got everything to balance, and it's, yeah, I'm going to have a whole bunch more free time. Oh, that's great. Uh, uh, other than that, I mean, other than the fire hall and the training and going out and filling pools because it's that season now, and um, the whole, I don't know, it's been pretty quiet. There hasn't really been a lot of calls coming in, so, I mean, that's good. Yeah, that's always a plus. There haven't been as many fires as there have yeah. been lately, so... <laughs> It's it's winding down a little bit. Yeah. That's probably a plus. Oh yeah, for sure. But I mean, the summer's coming. Grass fires are going to be coming. Summer's more coming to shine. Yeah. <laughs> I, you just, yeah. Dang, stop yeah, exactly. get, stop interfering with me explaining my life. Uh, you fat ass. <laughs> Work's been Aww. going good. It's, it's been pretty <laughs> quiet, so I mean, I'm still loving that mm. uh, at the call center at HGS. Right. Uh, perfect place to work compared to other call centers. So if you're in the Liverpool area or just like outsourced Badly looking to for there, call center work. <laughs> well, I mean, even we got people come for Chester. So I mean, it's, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, excellent place to work. Just just putting it out there. All right. Tell them Robert Stevenson sent you, and we can make a little bit of money, you and me, because of the referral this program. Is a ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then the big news. Yes, yes, the big me, news. Me and the buddy from uh, from the call center, Jared Lewis, which um, I forget, he's on the instant radio, Insta Radio. Okay. And me and him has done a couple of uh, short podcasts. Oh, really? Uh, late at night, so these are tired like podcasts Fucking of us hey. just rambling, uh, which is probably going to join the No Holds Barred production team. Fantastic! Uh, a little bit later on down the road. Good, great, wonderful. Working a place. Uh, come June the first, we're going to be moving into our own place. It's down on the main street of Liverpool. Um. Why don't you give the folks on the internet the specific address? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Although we do have a P.O. box coming to you that uh, you can send shit if you want to. Uh, oh, that shit, will be that's news to me. On podcasts. <laughs> that's news to me. Fucking A. Um, right on. But uh, in this new place, we're going to have another dungeon set up. It's going to be the Dungeon 2.0. Nice. Because we have one point, I believe it's eight or nine down <laughs> here. The eighth or ninth incarnation of, of, of our studio. Yeah. Yes, fair enough. And we're going to be co- doing a shit ton of content there for the channel. We're go- still going to be doing our podcast here for the channel. Plus, um, I believe that we still have stuff to talk about. Yeah, there's for some. maybe there are possible some... movie collabs. Well, there's you know what? There's some stuff that's in the works right now. There's an idea brewing. That uh, some stuff could get, uh, you know, put together and just kind of a way, just sort of a way for us to all, uh, a way for us to take each other with us. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Um, yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's some ideas kind of floating around. 
Uh, and actually, it's 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 a little bit further along than than uh, even I think we had uh, we had hoped that it would be, and we're going to talk about that more after the podcast. But uh, there's something there's something kind of interesting in the works. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, um, the reason why you haven't seen me even on like hangouts, which we could have done because I'm in mm. Liverpool, people seem to like the hangouts, but yeah. my room is half tore down already, and my computer oh. is apart. Oh, fair enough. So fair enough. Um, that's that's where we are currently right now, situating, as I said here, speaking situating. to you <laughs> in the microphone that looks like a black cock. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck sakes. You can't get away from the black <laughs> cock on this podcast. <laughs> well, right on, sir. That's, uh, yeah, that's... Um... Again, as I mentioned, that's that's uh, probably going to be a bit more exciting than what I have to say, but uh, yeah, right on. And yeah, it's it's you know it's going to be uh, this just to kind of go back to this idea. Like Tyler and I have been talking about it quite a bit today, and uh, except for that <laughs> hour and a half period where we kind of got <laughs> railroaded there by by that girl, <laughs> um, which will be a story for a story for another day or maybe later today. Who the fuck knows? Um, but, uh, so we, we, we've been talking about that a bit, uh, a bit today and, uh, kind of getting some ideas out there. And again, once we're off podcast, because we want to, um, surprise, exactly. It's, it's gotta, it's gotta be a surprise. And, uh, we've been working on that a little bit and it's, it's an exciting new possibility for, uh, for, for us. And, uh, this idea has potential. <laughs> <laughs> it and does have potential. And that's where we'll, that's where we'll leave that. Tyler, what's been new with you in the last month since the last time you were on the show? Well, <laughs> you'll never believe this one. I've been playing games <laughs> and reading. Say it isn't so, Tyler. Say it isn't so. Actually, the sad thing is I haven't even played as many games as I normally would. No. So what have I been doing? I don't <laughs> fucking past know. Month? I don't know. Working because you love your job. Yes, I love my job so much. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched some movies. I think within the last month, you you have you have watched more movies in the last little while. Like I mean, you you would go on sprees there where you'd watch three, four a day. Yeah, because it's so easy to track your movie movements because it's just <laughs> just look at his fucking critiquer page and you see everything that he's watched because yeah. it's like insta reviewed. Yeah, pretty much. I like I review it as soon as I watch it. Mm. But um, yeah, I've been. Trying to cook up this idea with you guys that we will not talk about on air, even though we've no. talked about it on air. We, we have <laughs> nothing better we, than we have not really talked about it on air, though. We've we give, teased them. We've given hints. We tickled the ball sack a little yeah. bit. Why don't we just show our whole we business meeting We tickled the ball online. sacks and we That's pulled the hairs. That's it. We gave it a little bit of a tug. We helped shave them. I kind of <laughs> want a little bit of a tug. Yeah, a little bit of a rub and tug. Um, do you do you want to talk a little bit about your new online obsession? <laughs> no, I don't really. A <sighs> I mean, little you bit. Can, you can talk about it. Little boy. Why would I talk about your <laughs> obsession? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, okay. Is it really that bad? No, it's no, not it's, bad. It's, not it's not wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, is it little boy? It's not little boy. <laughs> All right. Are you sure? <laughs> it's got nothing. Well, to... I'm not positive. No, it's not. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with bike seats. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I love bikes. Oh man. yeah, don't you know what? Bikes. One one of my great shames in life was the fact that I not never learned how to ride a bike, just learned how to ride one very poorly. <laughs> and I think if I tried today, I would like sit on the bike and it just fall over. Last time I tried to go for regular bike rides, it ended in disaster. Me and our buddy Tyler, not mm. myself. We, we for a, like a very short period of time, we had planned on going for bike rides. I think it was every second day. Right. And within the first night, like he was puking and our legs were just like terrible, right? Because that's <laughs> tiring on your leg. It is. for And sure. it lasted a few nights. And then I think we just stopped. <laughs> well, you know, the, the point is you try. But bike riding at night in like a dead town is a shit. Yeah, it's true because it's just like. You feel you feel like you run this. City. Yeah, there's nothing going on, so you just go wherever, bike <laughs> wherever. Like, yeah, that's my bike story. Nice. What games have you been playing, sir? Well, I just played Transistor. I might Radio? play the new Wolfenstein next. Radio. <laughs> Twisted Transistor. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> You're so smart. Ah. What is? I keep uh, updated with the gameage. 
<laughs> exactly. Now, now that begs me to ask the question: What's transistor? Radio. You're just doing this, so I'll talk about it a little bit. <laughs> See, it's crafty podcasting swine. <laughs> <laughs> I know your shit. I know your tactics. It's just the next game from the guys who made Bastion. And if you don't know, Bastion is the shit. Yeah, Bastion is a good game. She just it's just about this girl named Red who has like a sword that talks to her and she goes around. It's like a cyberpunk world. Okay. And she's she's trying to save the day. I got know? a cyberpunk world. In your pants? <laughs> Uh, well, I was just trying to finish your sentence. What are like, we even talking let about? Let me show you the know. laser show. Tyler's, <laughs> Zip. Tyler's just like, I was talking seriously about yeah. video games, and then Nick's is something serious about shit. Junk. <laughs> Fair I'm enough. I'm sorry. It just needs to come up every now and again. <laughs> I imagine it does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> see, we love it. Um, all right, so played playing Transistor, and again, as we said, Bastion is great. Has one of the greatest uh, fucking soundtracks that I've I think I've ever heard in a video game. It's just consistently great from start to end. And you said like the um, the soundtrack in this one, you're not 100 percent sure on yet. I gotta or, listen to it, like yeah. just sit and listen to it and see if it stacks up with right. Bastion. And it's like because this is the thing that we kind of we talked about earlier today. It's like the soundtrack for Bastion you can listen to. While you're not playing the game, and it's just great music, and it's that's kind of the test that you got to put Transistor soundtrack to. It's like, can I listen to this outside of the game, and is this great music, or is it just contextually does it work really well with the game? Like, I think Skyrim's got a great soundtrack, but I don't listen to it outside of playing the game because it it's within the context of the game. It's great. Yeah, most video game music I just use. Like, I just listen to when I'm writing or something. Right, fair enough. Rock that Final Fantasy VII Yeah, soundtrack. exactly. Like, I don't yeah. I don't walk around, like, rocking Ares theme. No, because you depress the shit out of yourself. <laughs> She's like, oh, this girl dies. That's Spoiler! Not- <laughs> Nick hasn't played Final Fantasy VII. Spoilers from 15 years <laughs> ago. What? <laughs> Sorry. Ares! Ares! Here's dies. I, I just, God. I mean, I mean, no, she doesn't. She lives a happy, happy ever after life with as Sephiroth. a lesbian with you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, much better. I always Nick's, knew she swung that way. Exactly. Nick, Nick is much happier now. <laughs> um, in terms of what's been going on with me, um, not a whole heck of a lot. Like, just uh, we're deep in the swing, of course, of NHL playoffs. So that's been. Basically controlling my life for the last, I don't know, long ass time now, um, because there's basically ho- at least a hockey game on every night, which is otherwise known as Canadian Nirvana. So that's 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 been pretty fantastic. No. Oh come on. No. You love it. No. You love it all up in your face. No. No, you li- you like going to live hockey game. I'm a Boston fan. Oh, you're a Bruins fan? Yeah. Oh, that, that kind of hurts. Ah! <laughs> God damn it, Tyler. I was trying to take the high road. Not me. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Where is that? The, the, um, high, the high road is right between truth or consequences. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Well, uh, so Nick's uh, been a little, a little disappointed. I'm, of course, giddy because my team is the one that took his team out, but... That was that was a I mean that was a really fucking great series. I loved watching every game of that series because it was as nervous as I've ever felt as a hockey fan, which I think is great. When you when you can be that into the game where you're just like, "Oh my god, what's going to happen?" and it's just like your whole body's on fire. And that's what I love about sports cuz sports can fucking bring that out. Other than that, you know, I haven't been doing a whole a whole heck of a lot. Here's 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 how boring my life is. The other day, I went on TripAdvisor. You know what? You know when I when I say TripAdvisor, you know yeah, what I mean. It's, it's, it's kind of like selloffvacations.com. No, it's 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 well, sort of. Fuck it's, you! It is. It's kind of like it. Tri- TripAdvisor is. It's not like a. It's not a travel agent. It's just a place where you go and review, basically review places that you've been, hotels, restaurants, places like that. Close so that, enough. Yeah, close enough, I suppose. So that if <laughs> If somebody wants to travel there, they can read these places reviews from actual customers and actual people and see what kind of experience they're going to get. Yep. 
So I went on TripAdvisor the other day, and I literally ranked, I think, 17 restaurants in Bridgewater. Did you? I did, uh, including fast food restaurants and places like that. Uh, and so that's how exciting my life has been. I'm ranking restaurants on TripAdvisor. Did you rate the like the bathrooms? <laughs> I, I included. In your I included talk about the bath because again we've we've talked on this podcast multiple times. I am a bathroom connoisseur. Like it, 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 I like how he's proud. He, uh, totally, you can just see it in his face. <laughs> like, I am. Listen, totally. I know my shit with pride. Uh, <laughs> but um, he knows his shit. He knows where to take his shits. Why? Because he asks me. <laughs> no, um, I, I didn't. I didn't include talk of bathrooms in, in in any of my reviews. Although you know what, I could have because it would have brought a certain uniqueness, not necessarily a good uniqueness, but a uniqueness just the same to my reviews. So really, now in retrospect, I should have done it. I may go back and just rewrite all the reviews to include a portion about the bathrooms. Do it. I gave McDonald's four stars out of five. What? Why? Why did it lose a point? Because what's that? Why did it lose a point? Because it's horrible for you and will eventually kill you. But I was like, you know what? You go to McDonald's, you know what you're gonna get. It's horrible for you, but it's tasty as but hell. But it's so good and it's, it's reasonably cheap. Yeah, the, you know, depending on what you get, but you can, you can get a pretty cheap meal at McDonald's. No, two point five. Nick's Nick's just jaded because he used to work there a couple times. No, I yeah, no. <laughs> yes, like yes, I've, Nick. Nick's like why. I've seen some shit, man. I, I've seen some shit and some stuff, man. <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't recommend it. I'm gonna go. To, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like literally as soon tomorrow. as I can. Yeah, exactly. Um. So really, I mean, that's been the lion's share of what's been up to up with me. Although I did uh, sign up for. Something that I never thought I was going to sign up for because a lot of it is based around, like, um, for lack of a better term, nerd things, but nerd things that I'm not interested in. Because I'm interested in plenty of nerd stuff. Big boys with tight pants? No, I'm way into big boys <laughs> with tight pants. Oh, God. I made, I made that You website. got the premium subscription of exactly. that, don't you? That's because, I, well, I, I do watch football. <laughs> That's basically all football oh! is. Big boys in tight pants. I like their butts. Um, <laughs> you no, cannot lie. And I cannot lie. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers can't deny. Um, we, once again, <laughs> we are a very musical podcast. Uh, we don't own any of these songs. Uh, no, I signed up for uh, Loot Crate, which, again, I never thought I was going to do because, A, it, it gets pricey to ship it to Canada. But I got it on a, uh, I got it on a deal, so that's a plus. But, like... This especially especially this month. This was like the worst month for me to possibly sign up because this month is fucking Adventure Time, which I'm not a fan of. Um, Legend of Zelda, which I got nothing against, but I never became a big fan. Like I, I played them and I liked them, but I was never like, oh my god, Zelda's so great. Yeah. Uh, and um, Minecraft, and I'm not a Minecraft fan. Oh, at all. give me Minecraft, please. You want the Minecraft yes. stuff? Are you not a fan of Minecraft? I don't know. Right, I'm, I'm I'm a Spitfire. Is it, at Mi- you. is it Minecraft swag or is it the actual game? No, it's the Minecraft swag. Oh fuck. Yeah, unless unless I win like the Mega Crate because they give away one Mega Loot Crate every month because with, we're like, seven hundred and fifty dollars okay. worth of stuff in it. Because so we're going to have a Minecraft seven. server. Oh, are you? Yeah. There so that go. we can do world edit. Oh, nice. Well, apparently Nick's going to uh, rock us with a little Minecraft. Um, all right, so Tyler wanted to spit fire at me for not liking Minecraft. No, I just want to tell you you suck. That's it. Well, that's spit fair. your fire, man. I think you just did. <laughs> uh, do it. Bring burn. it burn and bring it loud and fire and fly with the airplanes. <laughs> Hulk. Hogan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, we're we're actually on this running theory that <laughs> the ultimate warrior's spirit like manifested itself in Nick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was actually that was quieter on the, the uh, audio recording than I thought it was going to be. I did it off the microphone. Ah, good man. See, this always always a fucking pro. I know the consummate pro. What a thinker. Oh. Um, as far as Minecraft goes, I don't know. How I can reconcile being a fan of Terraria and not being a fan of Minecraft? You can't because it's basically. I'm gonna piss a lot. Of, I'm gonna piss some people off on the internet. It's fundamentally kind of the same thing. So, you know, 
I don't know how I can be a fan of one and not be a fan of the other, but I don't know. I just I never got into Minecraft. Maybe you because like I'm just a zombie shit? homer. I, I did. I loved building shit in Terraria. I don't know why I don't like Minecraft. It makes no sense. It makes zero sense. Yeah, because they're they're pretty different games in ways, but they're also pretty similar in ways. Right. Yeah, Terraria is different and enough different enough that you can like one and not like Minecraft. Like I don't even play Minecraft. I just got a lot of respect for it. Okay, fair enough. Like I mean, I know a lot of people that are Minecraft fans, and that's perfectly fine. I just, for whatever reason, it didn't uh, it didn't didn't hit for me. But um, my buddy Tony, uh, he gets uh, he gets Nerd Block, which is basically the same thing as Loot Crate. So he gets Loot Crate, or I get Loot Crate, and he gets Nerd Block. So we're gonna kind of do like an exchange program kind of thing but like if there's something that i get like it's something that i'm just like ah you know whatever and something that either of you like really really like if you want it you're free to it 20 bucks i want everything but everything that i get all right you only got to pay me 30 bucks a month and you can get my loot crate every month okay people here's the thing and less enough because we're going to be dropping a p.o box box number soon right there's going to be a contest. Oh, and dang. The, the, thing, the stuff that this body doesn't want from his loot crate. Loot crate. We're going to have a contest Ooh, yes, for you. Yes, that's true. We could put some stuff up in a little contest. Nice. Look at this guy thinking on his feet. Just actually sitting on down, but thinking on his butt. His brain is just going, and his butt's sitting, but his brain's still going. <laughs> My brain is going a mile a minute. It's just like yesterday. I had two coughs before I came to work. I was just like fucking hummingbird. <laughs> I was I talking imagine. so fast on the phone, I didn't know what was going on. Hi, it's Roger. Do you want to get this? you want to get this? Okay, what's the dealer number? Yeah, okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Click. <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. That indeed is how it happens. Good stuff. Uh, all right, folks. So where this is our kind of our comeback show and everything like that, we've been away for a little while. I almost unplugged the mics, which would have been fucking horrific. Um, we're going to do uh, we're basically going to do a little combo show here. We're going to give you a little bit of everything. So uh, let's talk a little wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, we're going to talk a little local wrestling. We're going to talk a little double a double a uh. We're going to talk a little TNA, very little TNA, because there's very little in TNA. We're talking about, oh, oh it's, it's, um, it's horrible. going to talk a little uh, Global Force Wrestling, which is upcoming now. Global Force! And why don't we, and why don't we start there? Uh, Global Force Wrestling, of course, if you don't know, uh, a new wrestling promotion being headed up by Jeff Jarrett, who was one of the people who originally headed up TNA back when TNA was good. Um, like when it first started up until like 2006 or 2007 when it started getting kind of shitty, um, maybe a little later than that, but, uh, global force wrestling, he's starting that up apparently with Toby Keith, which is just the weirdest combination that I could possibly think. I guess Toby Keith is the money. Like (laughs) I don't, I don't know. He's something. Here, here's the, here's where it lays with me. Like Jeff Jarrett and the Jarrett family is southern wrestling and toby keith is southern you know country and and things like that like if if the idea for this promotion is for jeff jarrett to start up like a southern wrestling promotion but on a national scale i'm all for that yes because like southern wrestling a lot of people would say southern wrestling is best wrestling because it's wrestling that takes itself a little more seriously it's not so cartoony and and it's it's you know it's got a lot more substance to it and if jeff jarrett and toby keith are going to take that and and have a go with it about starting like a, a southern wrestling promotion on a national and international scale i am all for that something like that could utterly destroy tna like that would be, they would then become the number three, and they would very quickly, I think, take over TNA as the number two. Oh God, yes. Uh, so that, if if that's the concept for Global Force Wrestling, I'm totally, I'm all for that. Um, well, just like the names that they're they're bringing in, and the, yeah, the, and the open contracts. Oh yeah. my God, open contracts is a big thing too. Kind of in the same style as like Ring of Honor. 
yeah. where you can have you have a contract with them as kind of your primary promotion, but you can go and work elsewhere as well and not be in like breach of contract and and all that jazz. So the the open contract idea is uh, is is very interesting and good for the talent. Uh, and yeah, some of the names that they've talked about that seem to have some deals or are working on deals or something like that. Are you like are you like looking up some like names? Oh, or oh no, like that, I'm or? looking up something different. All right, fair enough. Um, but <laughs> like <My> Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, fair enough. But like uh, uh, like you mentioned earlier, Kurt Angle, yeah, Kurt Angle coming over to seems play. to be the big one. Yeah, uh, it, which makes sense because TNA is not willing to pay him as much as he's really worth on the open market as a performer, and this will kind of help us segue over to TNA, uh, who it seems like. They've been hemorrhaging money for so long oh God, that they like, are George Lucas bad. should be broke by now at how much money TNA seems to be losing. Uh, and not only are they losing money, they're losing fans. And they're losing, like, their live attendance numbers are down unless they are in Europe. Mm. Which is something that, like, we talked about a little bit online. I think if TNA up and moved themselves... And were entirely a UK based promotion, ran all their events in the UK, said fuck North America, ran all of their events in the UK. I think they would be extremely successful. Oh God. Because the, the UK yeah. wrestling crowds seem to love them. Like their UK events all seem to always seem to be sold out. So uh, that could maybe potentially be a way to save that promotion, but of course they'll never do it because okay. they could never get their talent to all decide to, yeah, okay, up and we're all going to move to the UK now. So I don't think their talent would ever do that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree with your global force men touching each other. Totally. Hey. You love that shit. I never. I, it wasn't a criticism. <laughs> <laughs> just, just an observation. Just stating a fact, really. And yeah, like I said, that that's kind of a nice segue over to TNA, because um, again, like I said, they've been hemorrhaging money for a long fucking time, and uh, basically, the mentality within the company seemed to be like when they were pulling a decent rating, like when they were pulling like a one five or a one six in the rating so like we're talking 1.5 to 1.6 million average viewers at yeah. any one time they were like well you know what it can't get any worse and then they started dropping to one three one two now they're down to one like yeah. they're down to they're down to like their 1.0 which is where they were struggling with when they first brought in like bischoff and hogan and, and everything like that basically tried to go all wcw <laughs> It didn't um, work for them. It it, it worked, worked well for WCW. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. It worked. It worked super well for WCW for a couple of years, and then it just flew the fuck apart. 